Hi, it's Karen Brown Stockwell of Standard Bread Canada. Today I'm going to show you how to use our program called SC Stakes Online. It's an online payment program in which you can purchase stakes for your yearlings and racehorses with a credit card. I've logged into the Standard Bread Canada website and I need to log in. If I don't have an account already, I need to click on Create New Account, fill out the information, and click on Create New Account at the bottom. But since I already have an account, I just need to log in as normal. Now that I've logged in, I need to click on the red eShop button. Go down to Make Stake Payments and read the disclaimer carefully. The disclaimer has important information and it includes all of the stakes that are available for purchase as well as the fees that need to be paid if you use this program. It's $20 for a yearling for each calendar year and $40 for a racehorse. These fees are 13% HST applicable. The eShop fee that is listed is a fee of the stake payment plus a small administration fee. Once I re read all these conditions and I agree to the terms, I need to click on agree and continue to my horses. I currently have no horses in my inventory, so I need to add my horses to my shopping cart. First thing I'm going to do is click on Add Horse. I'm going to add the name of my yearling and click on Search. Once the horse has been identified, I need to add to cart. My second horse's name is a two-year-old. It's Bad Outlaw. I'm going to Search and Add to Cart. Now I have these two stake administration fees ready for purchase, $20 for the yearling and $40 for the two-year-old. Now I need to check out. I cannot see the stakes for these horses until I add these horses. It will show me my cart contents with the two administration fees, and now I need to add my billing information. Currently, the program accepts Visa and MasterCard. Now I'm going to put in my credit card information. Keep in mind this credit card is only a test credit card. It will not work if you intend to use it. The CVV is the three digits on the back of your card. Once I've entered that, click on Continue. It will show me my cart contents again, and I have to click on Submit Order. It tells me my order is complete. I will have an email in my inbox telling me that I've paid this fee. Here it is. It's telling me that I've paid the administration fees for 2012 for my two horses. Now I'm going to go back and look at the stakes and pay stake payments for these two horses. Go back to eShop, click on Make Stake Payments, and it will bring me up to the screen with my two horses listed. The first horse I want to pay for is Bad Outlaw. This is a two-year-old and I want to make sustaining payments. Currently it shows all the fees that have had yearling nominations that were paid. The sustaining fees are now due. I'm going to pay the Arden Downs Click on the box, and I'm also going to pay the horseman. I'm going to add these to my cart. Now it tells me that these two payments are in my shopping cart. I want to look to see if this horse is eligible to be nominated to any late closers. To do that, I have to click on the Find More Stakes button below the horse's name. Currently, this horse is to eligible for several stakes for this year. I'm going to pay the Dream Maker and add to my cart. Now that I'm done with this horse, I want to go back to my yearling and make some yearling nomination fees. Click on my horses to go back. 
Click on the name of your yearling. Now there's no stakes listed, as you can see. That's because no yearling nominations have currently been paid. In order to pay yearling nominations, I need to click on the green button, Find More Stakes. I'm going to pay this horse into the Champlain, the Simcoe, the Canadian Breeders, and the Ontario Sire Stakes. And I'm going to add them to my cart. Now I'm finished making stake payments. I want to check out and pay for these stakes, so now I need to proceed to cart. It will tell me again exactly what is in my shopping cart for purchase. Because I've purchased stakes in the U.S. and in Canada, it's telling me that I have a total of U.S. funds and Canadian funds, and I will show two transactions on my credit card statement. If I want to remove a stake payment, all I need to do is click on the box of the stake that I want to remove and update cart. Now it will show my altered cart. Now I need to check out. Show my cart contents again and I need to click on saved addresses to find my address that I entered in the past. I do need to put in my credit card information again because it does not save that for security reasons. And click on continue. It might take a minute for your credit card to process. Now that it's gone through, it tells me that there will be two transactions on my credit card. I have to review my information again and click on Submit Order. Now it tells me my order is complete. I should have another email in my inbox to confirm this transaction. Here's my email. It tells me all the stake payments that I've paid and also to the US and Canadian dollars that I've been charged. Once you make stake payments using SC Stakes Online, the stakes administrators will be notified immediately of your stake payments. And the stake payments will be sent to you, sent to them automatically. If you have any other questions, please contact me at the Standard Bread Canada office at standardbreadcanada.ca or through email cbrown at standardbreadcanada.ca. Thank you, and I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial.